Maintenance just happened a couple hours ago, and uh, considering where we are in the progression of this character right now, I figure one of the best ways I could spend my time currently is to level up to 225 and unlock Arcana. We're getting relatively close to wrapping up the Vanishing Journey symbol for now. Uh, once that gets to level 10, I'm going to be done leveling it for a while. And you might be able to hear that noise in the background, and that's actually a thunderstorm going on right now. It has been happening for the past, like, three hours. Uh, I don't know where it came from. It seemed to have just appeared with no warning, but, you know, whatever. Um, it doesn't seem to be severe enough that it's going to cut out my power or anything, so I'm just going to grind for a few hours, and uh, I'll easily, easily get to 225. Um, but I'll probably run out the whole, the whole totem and, uh, go from there. Because right now, if I'm being honest, all I really want to do on this character at this point after, oh god, how long have I been playing this character now? Let me check. Has it seriously been less than two weeks? That's crazy. Well, I mean, I've been playing this character for, like, about roughly two weeks at this point, then. And I really honestly just want to get it to 235 so I can stop playing it because I don't enjoy grinding on this class. It's really fast and it's efficient and it's not really that hard or exhausting. It was when I first started. It was very difficult and very tiring to grind on this character. But now after doing it so much, it's really not that big of a deal to me, but I don't really enjoy it. So... I want to get to, uh, to 235, I want to unlock all the symbols, and I want to just start getting them to level 10, because once they're all level 10, that'll be, I think it's 1300, no, this should be 1200 uh, per symbol, so 12, 24, 36, that's 7200 strength from symbols alone. Um, adding that... 5,100 extra to what I currently have will put me at about 14,000 stat. So, theoretically, you know, that, that alone is a huge improvement. And once I get to 20k stat, that's kind of my goal. I think I've sort of mentioned it before, but 20k stat is roughly where I want to stop this character. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and do it. Get to work. I got um, probably somewhere like 20 to 25 more hours of grinding. To get to 235, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grind to 235. Not right now, but I'll grind to 225 right now. Mm. All right. Um, I'm going to do some AFK fishing for a while while I work on some stuff. But... Uh, we got 10 mil experience, which is pretty good. This is probably the highest I've ever <laughs> reached on any old school RuneScape character, so that's pretty great. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to be fishing sharks, which I know is not efficient, but I'm doing it anyway because I want to. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. This is not the right game. You know what's actually insane? <laughs> This is fucking crazy. So, my Bera Mihail has like 4.5 mil range unbuffed. And my Hayato, who has less than half the stat, has 3.5 mil buffed. I don't even know how that's possible. I also don't know what the sources of damage boosts are. See, do I just get damage when... When I use that, I don't understand what, what what where all this damage is coming from. This class is fucking busted, and anybody who thinks otherwise is in denial. All right, it's time to turn in these dailies. I've turned in most of them already, and I've gotten two levels on my symbols so far, so that's pretty good. I need to do the weekly one. I should have accepted that first. I don't, I definitely won't be getting a level here, but that's two levels, that's 200 more strength, which is pretty good. Um, and I need to finish capping, because I did not during the dailies, apparently. I have no idea what map would be best. 
uh, for this character. I've been grinding here at Rev 3. Rev 3 has proven to be pretty good. But it's uh, still not like that much better than anything else. It's not like significantly better than anything else lately, so I don't know. Uh, hoping that I can train an Arcana very soon. But I'm still kind of two-shotting every mob there, so it's not really viable. I might end up staying here until 2.30, so I don't know. I'm just going to finish capping, and then uh, then we can go buy that ring. See, now I have 3.9 mil damage. I don't understand this class. Anyway, we got 3,500 coins. And now I can go buy that 5% crit rate, crit damage ring, which will also give me crit rate. So it's like a double whammy. Day of nostalgia. Is that already happening? Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. I didn't realize this was... Okay, let's find out. They didn't actually play Latulin music, did they? They didn't just do that, right? No, okay. It must be Magadia then. Let's go to Magadia, and I'm pretty sure that's the song. I had to alt-tab because I had to pause my own music to hear it. Yeah, I thought so. 300 coins, dude. That's insane. That's brazy. Let me make sure I check in. Okay. Great. That was a lot of extra stuff that I didn't intend to do just now. So, let's actually do what I said I was going to do and get this freaking ring, dude. I'm excited for this because this is going to be a damage increase for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's just a stronger ring. Like, it's just a stronger ring. That's all there is to it. It has so much more attack power. It's it's a damage increase regardless of the fact that it has no star force and has no um, other stuff, whatever the other thing words that I was going to say were. So with that, we now have 84% crit damage. And what I can do here is I'm going to have to, this is going to kind of suck, but I'm going to have to reset all of this because if you look now, my crit rate like, am I on the right board? I am not. Let me just make sure my crit rate is at 100. So, it's at 80. Um, do I have link skills? I do have my link skills. I don't have the right ones, though. Why do I not have my crit rate link skills on? <clears throat> well, that's 89, and then if I add in... No, 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 that's with decent sharp eyes, because I've got this pet... Okay, so that's with Decent Sharp Eyes, uh, and that means I'm going to need a little more, and that is where Phantom Instinct comes in. Which means I'll have to get rid of probably this one. And that puts me at 100% without any investment in crit rate hyper stats. That's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and invest as much as I can into crit damage. This will put me, like, what, 87? 86? Put as much as I can into IED. Almost 94% IED. Boss damage is very important as well. Sure, get that maxed out. And then damage percent is pretty important. So I'm going to go ahead and put points into this. But I'm also going to put points into attack power as well. Because I do kind of want to scale my attack power up a little bit. And the more attack you have, the more influence percent attack has on your... Uh, on your damage range so that you know overall I don't know if that's really like an amazing improvement in damage but it is damage improvement we lost some strength which sucks but I'm going to be doing more damage now and that's what matters let me also go over to this preset as well because I'm pretty sure I have way too much crit rate here yeah see I don't need any crit rate I don't need any crit rate uh what am I trying to say? I don't need any crit rate investment anymore. 
So I'll do normal monster damage. I'll do bonus EXP. I'm going to stop investing in Arcane Force as well. Because Arcane Force, it, it's a crutch. Like I said a couple episodes ago, it's a crutch that I rely on when I'm getting started. And I think this character is kind of past that point. So we need crit damage as well on this one. 86% crit damage is not bad, by the way. That's pretty freaking good. Though I have heard of people getting well over 100%, and that's like insane to me. Okay, I don't have enough for that, so we'll just do attack power, and that should be... That should... That should be a, a solid damage increase all around. Uh, I'm happy with that. This Treasure Hunter John's ring is almost as good as the Noble Iphia's ring. I think if the Noble Iphia's ring didn't have that extra 12 or that extra 12 strength line, the Treasure Hunter John's ring would be better. Uh, one more quick thing I'm just going to do here real quick is open all of these nodes. I still don't have a Rice on Rinzon node, but, you know, I've been doing okay without it. I have the nodes that I need, even though they're kind of a mess. And I'm not getting enough nodes that it's really worth justifying uh, optimizing them right now. So, I'll head over to a node master, see if I got anything good. I do notice that I got an EI Jutsu node, and that's helpful. That's always very helpful. Is that a level up? It is a level up, ladies and gentlemen. That puts us at an extra... Percent final damage per stack, giving us a total of 56% final damage? No, 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 I was multiplying it by four. It's a lot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much, and it lasts 24 seconds, which is an extra second. So that's fantastic. Um, next on the list, I have two Shinsoku nodes, and the reason for that is because this character is primarily bossing focused, as you know. But, you know... As I always have to do whenever I open nodes, I have to make sure that I didn't get anything crazy good here. Because there's always that chance, even if it is a small one. I would love to have this skill. Uh, but it's just so, it's just such a minor damage increase. It doesn't line up with the burst. Of this class, oh, I'm assuming it doesn't, but I don't even know how this class bursts, to be honest, so. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, I need to level up this node because this will be a very easy source of Shinsoku damage and Falcon's Honor damage, which is a skill I use a lot when bossing because of the, um, the, the, the sword energy gain. Um, so. You know, it's very important that I keep that up. Level 3 is fine. That's an extra 6%, or 4%, I guess. Oh, look at that Bishop. I wish I, could, I wish I enjoyed Bishop more. I always want to enjoy Bishop, but I just never can. I can never get into it the way I want to. Anyway, that is a 36% damage on Batojutsu. Or Shinsoku, not Batojutsu. Uh, yeah, Jutsu Phantom Blade is good, and the next level we get on it isn't even going to be a percent final damage or duration increase, which sucks, but we gotta do it anyway. Everything else, relatively unimportant. Erda Nova is something that I would love to get to max level at some point, but it's so low priority. Sudden Strike is such a weak skill. It's very annoying that I can't really one-shot with it consistently unless I'm training on lower level mobs, but... Uh, all in all, I'd say that was a solid... Uh, improvement for the character. Next on the list is going to be getting a Chaos Ring. That'll probably replace this or the Iphia's Ring. I'm thinking the Silver Blossom Ring because the Iphia's Ring has the same stats, but it can be 15 starred. So it is better overall than the Silver Blossom Ring. Um, having a ring with no potential does suck, and I only have four days left on this pendant, so you know what I could probably do is just kind of hunker down and grind up to 235. You know, four days is a long time for somebody to get from 225 to 235, so... I don't know. A lot of think. A lot of think. Alright. Well, you know what time it is. It's time for dailies. Um, I might cap on one or two other characters just for the sake of consistency. 
I guess I'm just gonna grind because I have a lot of EXP coupons that I can use. I have this custom title. I have this prepared spirit of pendant. I have the um the, the the totems for it. Like I'm I'm set as far as grinding goes. So I'll probably do that very soon. And I'll probably try to grind to 230. It's a lot to expect tonight in one session, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. It's 1.20 a.m., so it's going to be kind of tight, but I could probably do it. Okay, so this is actually, this is actually, this is actually interesting. Uh, I just got a black bean mark from Pink Bean, and this is... If you look at the stats, obviously it's better than the Aquatic Letter I accessory, and it also gets a lot more stars. So I think if I flame this, this will actually be a better accessory than what I have. Um, it's also worth noting this is a part of the boss accessory set, so I don't lose anything. So this is a, this is a pretty good drop. This will be a small damage increase. It's not going to be anything crazy. Um, 20 strength, 5 attack, and 5 all stat, but the flames on it are ridiculous. The flames you can get on this thing are absurd. But yeah, that's a better flame than what I had on the Aquatic Letter I accessory, so we're already set there. Let me see if I can get a tier up on this. Good. Good thing that didn't work. You know what? I might still have a VPN on now that I think about it. Oopsie. Okay, that was kind of annoying, but yeah, I, I had to I had to disable my VPN. Oh, that's a tear up, baby. Let's go. Things are, you know, honestly, as much as I complain, things are going really well on this uh Miha on this Hayato overall. There's not that much that uh, that I'm struggling with, and you know what? I'm feeling so good today. Let's go for nine percent strength. <clears throat> See, I told you. I told you. Things are just going super well for this Hayato, and I don't really get why, but I'm not going to complain. This is a really good item to get while we don't have access to uh, Sweetwater stuff, and I'm probably not going to bother with, with... I'm not going to bother with Sweetwater stuff for a while. Uh, at, like, I don't need Sweetwater in order to clear Lomian, so I'm probably not going to bother getting it until I... Uh, go beyond that point. We'll just, I'll just 12 star this. Uh, I could probably try to go for 15, but I don't think I really have the mesos for it. Uh, and that is a 100 strength increase. Thank you very much. And with that, we are officially upgraded a little bit. That's cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting to get another small upgrade like that. Like. Like at all, ever. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I need to keep doing my bosses. I think I only have a couple left. I managed to... I can clear Arcarium pretty quickly now. Arcarium is not a problem for me anymore. Ranmaru... Hard Ranmaru is still kind of a pain because he can still one-shot me really easily. My uh, strength isn't, or my, my HP isn't really up to snuff quite yet. But I think if I play it right, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh! Uh, and there's the death. That, thir that 30 second potion cooldown that they added was one of the worst things they could have done to this boss. It went from being like an easy boss to just a pain in the ass unless you can, unless you can absolutely shred his HP. Like I'm doing right now. Okay, really? All right, there we go. So yeah, that boss kind of sucks until you're strong enough to just annihilate him um, and with that we are done with daily bosses and I'll probably hop on my Ilium 
uh, because I have a couple of goals with my Ilium. I want to get it to level 200 uh, and fifth job to see whether or not I actually really want to play it long term. If I were to base it off of my experience so far, the answer is absolutely 100%. It is super fun. It is probably the most fun magician I've ever played. Uh, I think Bishop is just a close second. Um, oh my god, I bought a ton of totems. Oh, I forgot I did that. Yeah, I already have six totems, so... That's not going to be quite enough to get to 235, but it'll get me pretty close to it. Um, okay, over to the Ilium, I suppose. I'm going to extract these. Goodbye, aquatic letter eye accessory. I hate you anyway. You look very ugly. And I'm very happy to have something that looks a little better. It doesn't even have to look better. It just has to look different. All right. Now, uh, on to the Ilium. Uh, I need a cap on this character, and... I really need to grind it up to 200. I'll probably do that after I, uh, I have a lot of 1.5 times coupons. I'll probably do that after, um, after I get my Hayato to 235. Because I don't really want to take time away from the Hayato quite yet until I'm at a point where, like, I don't need to invest active playtime in it anymore. You know, it's just passive stuff and doing, like, dailies and stuff like that. I, I want to get to that point. What level are these? 153? Is there somewhere else I can go? Um, uh, Critias. I could go to Critias, and I think I actually will do that. I'll get a rune for my troubles, too. Please. Oh, so, little update for those of you who may be wondering. Um, I need link skills on this character if I'm going to do this. Or, or, at the very least, I can do this. So, for those of you who may have been wondering um, about the, the mouse feet saga and the drifting, um, I went ahead and did a compromise because uh, I bought glass mouse feet. What is it called? What do they call it? Aluminosilicate Alumino glass. Whatever the hell that means. Um, I got that stuff for my Logitech G Pro X Superlight. Best mouse I've ever owned. I love this thing. Um, but when I installed them, there was drifting because there was just such a little amount of friction on the mouse wheel and the mouse feet that, uh, or the mouse feet and the mouse pad. You know, I have, I have a hard mouse pad, so there's like zero friction. Um, and it just, it just caused drifting. So what I did was I compromised and I replaced one of the feet, the foot that surrounds the sensor. I replaced that with a stock foot that has actual friction and, uh, it maintained a large amount of the, or I guess it, it, it maintained the lack of friction and it also reduced or removed entirely the drift. So the drifting problem is fixed. I also had a problem with my A button or my A key on my mouse for a while. Uh, I have the drop control uh, keyboard, which again, another amazing keyboard, best keyboard I've ever owned. But it has one major flaw that I cannot get past that makes me not want to recommend it, which is that the actual switches, the, the it's a hot swappable keyboard. So the little back plates that hold on the switches, um, those are soldered kind of poorly to the motherboard on the back. Um, this is easily serviceable and accessible if you are familiar with soldering. It's a very, very simple fix. But for the vast majority of people, I'd imagine it's probably not worth going out and buying a soldering iron, learning basic soldering techniques, and then, you know, all that just to have a keyboard that functions. But the problem is when those become loose, the connection between... Uh, the switch and the motherboard also becomes loose because that's like the connecting piece. Uh, and that causes inconsistency with inputs. It causes like double inputs. It causes missed inputs, etc. So I've already had to solder quite a few keys uh, with better solder joints 
just to make them function properly. Uh, and I had to do that with my A, A key recently, and I wasn't sure it would fix the problem, but just like every other key that that's happened with, my Y key, my like N key, you know, whatever other keys that have had that problem, I just go in, I add more solder to the joint, it gives it a tighter connection, and boom, problem solved. So, there's your peripheral update for those of you who care. I know, my life is really interesting. Alright guys. <clears throat> I've capped on the Ilium, I've done a few other things here and there, but um, now it's time to hunker down and grind up to 2.30. And uh, I will not record anything until I am at 2.30, so I will see you, well, very soon from your perspective, but probably in like six to eight hours from my perspective. Mm. Hello, gamers. It has been a while. I don't know exactly how long it's been since I last recorded. I want to say less than a week. Um, I don't know. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I just ate. But today is, I believe, the last day of the cube sale. Now, I don't have a ton of mesos, but I do have some that I can use. And I have, um one goal in mind, or I guess two goals, sort of. And these can probably be accomplished with red cubes. Um, I'll just, I'll do 60 for now. I didn't realize there was 30 of them in one package. That's insane. Um, right, so the goal is, I wanna get my two CRA equips that I currently have up to legendary. <laughs> I know for a fact that these will never be replaced, no matter what. I mean, by the time I get to the point where I'm doing Saren, and is Saren the one who gives you the the new the new gear set that they're releasing? I don't remember. But by the time I get to that point, I mean, <laughs> that's optimistic to think that I ever will get to that point on this character. So, for the most part, these are never going to be replaced. So let's go ahead and try to cube them up to legendary. We're looking for Legendary with two line of stat. Um, that's kind of a lot to ask, and we're gonna start with the top first. But I think, I think I might be able to do it, especially if I get a couple lucky rolls and uh, tear up relatively quickly. I think the first goal is gonna be with the 60 cubes to try and get both of these to Legendary. I don't know how realistic that is. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long time since I've cubed something to legendary, so let's uh, find out. Well, there's 9% strength, so I think for now I'm going to move over to this. This way I kind of guarantee myself an improvement on my gear either way. Alright, we got our first tier up. Unique on the helmet. Um... Two line, I'd also be happy with two line unique stat, but I mean, I don't think I'd be happy with it like long term. I feel like I would just be, uh, I would just be okay with it for the time being. All right. First round of cubes resulted in a tear up on the helmet and 9% strength on the top. Um, I need to keep using cubes on this helmet until I get something good. 9% uh, strength is a huge settle for a unique helmet, so I'm gonna go buy more. This is going to be about all I can afford, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if I can get anything good. Two line of strength would be okay for this helmet. Um, but again, like I said, I do want to tear up to legendary if possible. I've rolled 12% strength a couple times. I haven't gotten anything better than that. I should be able to get 15% strength relatively easily. Like, look at that. That's 18% luck right there. Can I not get, like, an okay strength roll? 
Is this not a thing that's going to happen? There's 15% int. I've I've rolled everything that I possibly can except for strength. As far as two line stat goes. Even HP. It's the it's the usual the, the thing that always seems to happen on this character when I'm cubing is I, I always, without fail, roll everything I possibly can that isn't strength. See, there's luck again. Oh my god, that took forever! Alright, 15% strength is kind of a settle. But, I mean, considering the cubes that I have access to, it's not really that much of a settle. Um, let me see if I can get anything good here. Maybe a tier up, maybe, maybe like a lucky tier up with a 15% strength roll? Instantly? Maybe? You never know. Okay, no. I do know, and the answer is no. We're not getting anything. Um, I do have a couple cubes I can still use. Probably shouldn't use Meisters on this right now. We'll do a, um, Master Craftsman's first. I mean, even if I could get Unique, Unique would be a big improvement over Epic, so... Unfortunately, it does not look like that is the case. I'm gonna roll for 9% strength on this top again, and then we'll just have to, uh... have to accept that that's all we got from this cubing session, which is kinda disappointing, but... I mean, these cubes were free, and... it didn't exactly take me a ton of effort to get them in the first place. It's not like I had to grind for them, so... I'm I'm not really like upset about it. Just a little unfortunate. There's that Demon Avenger potential that we've been looking for. There's that Demon Avenger potential that we've been looking for. I I have to roll nine percent strength again eventually, right? Like Right? Right, guys? Like, I have to, right? Oh my god. It took so long. It just took so long to roll that. Okay, so before I cubed these two things, I had 10.5 thousand stat. Let's see where I'm at now. Ah. It's good. 10.8 thousand. We made a lot of good gains with that 2 billion mesos that I just spent. Um, I think it's, it's considered Monday now, so I don't even get the half-off ability resets. Crit rate doesn't benefit me, nor does magic attack, so... Some, uh, some good gains today. Some really good gains today. Anyway, ignoring all that, which was basically amounted to just a waste of time and mesos, um... I'm level 230. I got to level 230 like yesterday-ish or whatever, but I've been on a huge old school Maple Story kick lately, so I haven't been spending a ton of time in GMS. Um, that'll probably I'll probably come right back to GMS within like a week or two. I'm not concerned with that long term. It's just it's a, it's a problem I have. I have uh I have pretty bad ADD, so I tend to uh switch interests very quickly. It's hard to build a YouTube channel when you have a, uh, a problem like that. But I'm level 230, and now I have access to Morass. I have not done the Morass pre-quests yet. I probably should have, because I already did my dailies today, and it would have made sense to just do Morass, get it out of the way, reduce the number of dailies for previous areas, and also have access to upgrading the Morass symbol, but I didn't do it because I was being lazy and I really just did not feel like it. <clears throat> but uh, I think I'm gonna... God, I really don't want to do them. It's just so frustrating. I really wish we had access to 
it, I really wish we had the update that allowed us to skip the damn prequests. I'm so sick of doing these prequests. I've done them like a dozen times each at this point. But I have to I have to do them at some point. It'll probably take an hour or so, so I should just suck it up and do it. But also, another important thing, I've accumulated 68 node stones over the past few levels of grinding, which is not bad, that's not a bad amount. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and open these and we're gonna try to get EI Jutsu upgraded more because while it is nice to have Sanrenzan nodes, um, not Sanrenzan, Shinsoku nodes. I mean, Sanrenzan nodes would be nice too because I do find myself using Sanrenzan every so often now when I grind because it does enough damage to actually like two shot things. Which is acceptable, it's not one-shotting, but, you know, whatever. Um, while it would be nice to have those nodes, EI Jutsu Phantom Blade is going to be way better than anything else. Um, so I, I just, I really just do need to focus on that alone. Uh, someone asked why I'm not using a Holy Symbol node, and to be honest with you, there's no reason I'm not. There's absolutely no reason, I just forgot and I just didn't care. I guess I didn't think about it because grinding on this character has not been a priority. It's just always been like, yeah, I'll get to 235 eventually. I still have two more weeks. 15, 16, 17, closer to three weeks to um, to reach 235. So, like, I'm really not concerned with it. Uh, grinding's not a big deal to me. And that being said, if I do get a holy symbol node here, I'll probably try to use it. Um, one of the problems I'm running into is I'm not, I don't have a pet. I don't have a third pet, and I've been trying when I run, um, I mean, I have this, this thing can't learn, pet skill buff, um, or auto buff pet skill, yes, those words, but when I run Heart Hilla, I just, I haven't gotten a pet, I got the black hearted earrings, and, you know, I'm not rich, I, uh, I might have a fire starter ring in Barra, but that was a lot of luck. And uh, saving four dollars on a pet would be a nice would be a nice thing to do. So I'm just kind of waiting until I get a black heart pet from Hilla. So that's one of the problems with Holy Symbol is I would have to auto buff it myself or manually buff it. <laughs> I'd have to auto buff it myself, also known as manually buffing. Uh, I hate manually buffing. I really try hard to avoid it, but if I have to, I have to. So let's look at these nodes and see if I get anything good. So right off the bat, I can see Holy Symbol. An extra 20% EXP would make a huge difference getting to 235. Because let me, let me actually get the numbers for you. So I can tell you exactly how much EXP it would save me. Well, not exactly, but like roughly, theoretically. If it works the way that I think it works. So at level 230, I have 888 billion EXP gained. At level 235, I'll have 1.6 billion. So I'm about halfway, actually almost exactly halfway to 235 right now. Um, and 20% of almost 900 billion would be 180 billion. So, yeah. This is, uh, this is pretty much absolutely worth using, even at level one. Now, that being said, let me take a look through these nodes, see if I got anything good, and then we will focus on upgrading stuff. Well, while I'm here, let me just do the usual quick upgrades. Rye Blade Flash, I don't use Rye Blade Flash, I use Rice on Renzon. I might be wrong about that, but I don't see any reason to use Ryblade Flash, so there's an extra 4% final damage on Shinsoku. Oh, also this note as well, let me make sure. Falcon's Honor, Hitokiri Strike. Would that be better? I think that would, I think this one, this node would be an improvement, so... Let me find it, it's a, it's a Falcon's Honor node. Let me go ahead and upgrade this one. So this one's going to be an improvement, because uh, while I don't use Hitokiri Strike all that much, I use it way more than whatever that other skill was. 
Uh, it's it's not really that important. Okay, I've looked through all the nodes. I haven't found anything very good. We're just gonna disassemble them all. Get ourselves some node shards, and then I'm going to... Well... I could upgrade Decent Holy Symbol, but lowering even further the amount of time that I spend grinding will result in fewer node stones overall, which will make it harder to reach max level on EI Jutsu. So, in the interest of consistency, we're going to go ahead and craft some EI Jutsu nodes and just focus on this skill alone. Is that going to be level 14? Oh, so close. So close, level 14. So we have 15% final damage for 25 seconds, which is fantastic. Next level will be 16 for 26 seconds. This skill is absurd. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why they would balance a skill like this, but hey, whatever. I'm cool with it. Um, one more level on Falcon's Honor, and I actually get a max target increase because right now it hits 14 enemies. And that's actually, you know what? 14 versus 15 is not that big of a deal, so... I'm not worried about it. What about Sudden Strike? It hits 10. That would be a more important increase for uh, for Sudden Strike, but... Uh, overall, that's 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 kind of it. What was that? Three levels for Phantom Blade? That's not bad. It's not good. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. Okay, so uh, off to do more la- more lass? Off to do more lass. And then, oh god. Then I will have the fifth symbol putting me one away from being done with uh, with symbols on this character. Well, new symbols, I guess. I do still have to level them a lot, but that's not a huge deal. That's not as big of a deal to me as just getting to the level where I unlock the symbols. So, right. Let me, uh, let me do this and... Uh, Get back to you guys in a moment. <clears throat> oh my god. That took so long. I get ah That took so long, dude. I, I finished the Moras prequests. I got the symbol. I can do dailies now. Um doing dailies here is going to be very difficult because I could go buy Moras symbols from the store, or I could use these uh hundred symbol selectors that I got for it, but I want to save these for Esfera because as difficult as Moras is, Esfera is going to be even more difficult because I'm only going to be level 235. So unfortunately, leveling this symbol is going to be a struggle. It's going to increase the duration of my dailies probably by another 10 minutes or so, um, which I'm not excited about, but hey, I mean, maybe it'll, uh, maybe the, the, the reduction from the, uh, the other days like, uh, now I can start doing Lachlan, uh, Dream Defender, which will help a little bit, I guess. Uh, but, you know, the reduction for the previous quests might make up for the difference. Either way, it's gonna kinda suck, because these monsters are really hard for me to kill right now. But, with all of that, that puts us at 11.1 thousand stat, meaning we need 8,900 more to reach my goal. Oh my god. Exhausting. <clears throat> hey guys, I just woke up a little bit ago. My sleep schedule is kind of shifting into something a little more normal. It's very interesting. Uh, now that I have the date and time showing on my progression videos, you can actually watch as my sleep schedule sort of shifts back and forth. And I say back and forth because while it is shifting to a more normal sleep schedule now, it will definitely without a doubt, be back to what it was before in a month or so. So, I've been doing a little bit of thinking. I finished the Moras prequest. We talked about that already. Um, but I think I kind of wasted my mesos buying all those cubes. Um, I think it was kind of due to RNG. Overall, I did get a strength increase, but it was only an increase of like 300 stats. Uh, and not to mention, this is including, where is it? Hybrid Logic, which gives me an extra 10%. What, what am I at without that? 10, 8, 4, 8, 7, 4. Okay, so, 
Um, I feel like those mesos, while it was tempting. Do I hear a cat meowing? No, that's just... That's just the background music. While it was tempting to buy cubes since they're 25% off, I think it was a mistake for me at this point in my progression. My gear does not need to go beyond epic for a while. Like, a lot of these things don't need to be legendary. Weapon secondary emblem probably should be legendary. Emblem I'm not touching because it's already 18, 15% attack. Um, that's not a lot. I think I'll probably try to improve that at some point before this uh, Hayato is officially considered done. But I feel like my Mesos could have been better spent on Miracle Circulators because this whole time I've had this Hayato, I have never managed to roll 20% boss damage uh, or 30 attack. <clears throat> Neither of those abilities have ever come up since I started this character. And I feel like I should have probably invested in the uh, the circulators instead of doing the the cubes. Because I could have probably rolled 20% boss really easily. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I can't really take it back. But, <clears throat> you know, um, I just wanted to throw that in here before I go start playing old school Maple Story for the day. Uh, like I said, I've been in a real old school Maple Story kick as of late. We're still kind of uh, in the waiting process, so to speak, for the Hayato getting more Arcane Force to get her strong enough to train in Arcana, which is currently my goal. Um, if I can reach 130%. Arcane Force, if I could reach that threshold for, um, I think Side Path is the map that I was going to train on. I might just do CLP, to be honest. But either way, I need to reach 130% damage there in order to one-shot. Uh, and I currently don't have that. So, there's really only so much I can do on this character right now if I'm not grinding. It's kind of just a waiting game. And what I figured I would do is work on my Ilium some more because it's been a long time and this Ilium still isn't level 200, so I really need to do that. Also, I went through all my other characters who have been capping every day and I bought all of the growth potions. As you can see, I got my Aaron to level 200, I got my Xenon to level 200, and I got my Corsair to level 187. Unfortunately, I ran out of growth potions, so getting this Corsair to 200 is going to still probably take a little while. But that was a, uh, a solid increase in total level, and we're very close to 7k now. Um, once I get this character to 200, and then I think I want to work on the Angelic Buster a little bit, try to get her to 150, uh, then we'll easily, easily be at a 7k Legion, which is a, a solid milestone, I think think that gives us more members assigned i don't remember exactly no no, no. i think every 1000 is supposed to unlock another piece of the grid but i already have the full thing unlocked so 7000 is not going to be any more of an important milestone than like 6500 was if i'm if i'm not mistaken of course but um, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and update you guys on what's going on with the account because there really hasn't been a whole lot going on lately. It might not seem obvious in the video because the video just kind of flows. But from my perspective, it's been a pretty slow like week and a half or so. So the plan is get this Ilium to 200, try out fifth job a little bit, do the Vanishing Journey requests and all that stuff. And uh, then I would really love to work on this Angelic Buster because having access to her burst skill would be amazing. After that, the uh, the goal is going to be arc because level three arc skill, arc link skill is ridiculously useful. So it's kind of high priority for me and I need to get arc to 202 before I finish, or I guess 203, I don't know, it depends on how many coins I can get, or how many points I can get from the Punch King event. Um, let me take a look at that real quick. I think it resets every Monday, so I might have to do it again. No, I've already done it. Um, so I get about a thousand, 
points a week. And there's either seven or eight weeks in this event. I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll kind of have to see how that goes. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. It'll be either 202 or 203. Either, I mean, both of those levels are fairly easy to reach. So I'm not too worried about it. All right. <sighs> off to, off to do the grind. Mm. What's up, guys? Um, feels like it's been a long time since I've really done anything on this Hayato. Um, I've been busy doing other stuff, recording other videos and stuff like that. And, uh, I think now is probably a good time to start the push to, uh, 235. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna grind yet. I don't know if I have the damage to grind in Arcana, I could probably grind in the forest, but probably not the cavern. Um, I'll find somewhere to grind, I'll find somewhere, and uh, I'll get good EXP rates regardless because it's it's Hayato, it's an amazing grinding class. Uh, I just figured now would probably be a good time to update you guys. Tonight is weekly reset, uh, which means I'll be getting close to 2 billion mesos from uh, my Hayato and my Mihail. I have almost 5,000 blooming coins right now. I'm not 100% sure what I'm saving them for. I honestly don't know. I think it might be worth buying the two experience node stones and using them on Phantom Blade. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. It's just Phantom Blade is such a dumb skill. It's so ridiculously strong and it just keeps getting stronger until it's maxed. It's ridiculous but I don't really have a whole lot to discuss. I'm kind of just at the point now where I would like to get this character to 235, keep working on symbols. As you can see, these are, these are the symbol levels that we currently have. Vanishing Journey is level 10, so it's pretty much done at this point. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing Vanishing Journey dailies too much longer. Same for Choo Choo. Choo Choo should be maxed after reset today. Um, and then whenever I unlock Esfera, the 100 symbol selector will go to the Esfera symbol, uh, because that one's going to be really hard to level up. As far as stat goes, we're still sitting around 11k. I mean, I still, I really still do need to kill Pierre at some point. I'm kind of just stalling. There's a couple reasons why I'm waiting so long. First and foremost is I'm kind of waiting for it to get closer to June because the cash shop transfer event happens at the beginning of June. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. But also just kind of trying to accumulate as much extra stat from symbols as possible so that I can eventually go take on Pierre, get the third piece of CRA stuff, and then, um, and then eventually get the weapon. It's, I don't know at what point I'm going to have the confidence to go try and kill Pierre because I mentioned it before, but I really don't understand how to kill Pierre outside of get his health down to like 40%, 35%, and then just burst him down when you have uh, the opposite hat color. That's the only way I know how to fight him. So I'm kind of trying to wait until this Hayato is strong enough to actually burst him down, which probably involves leveling up Phantom Blade to max. Um, I estimate I'll probably get under 100 more symbols on this character on the grind to 235. I don't think I'll get more than that. And if I pump those all into EI Jutsu Phantom Blade, we're definitely not getting to level 30. That's not going to happen. Plus, there's still the fact that I have to do all of these other skills as well to truly get the most out of this character. So, like, there's a there's a, there's still a lot to do. Even when I get to 235, there's still just a ton of waiting to do. But I figured I'm kind of wasting time the longer I spend not leveling to 235 
because once I'm 235, I can start doing Esfera prequests or Esfera dailies, and then focus on getting another character to 235, probably my Buccaneer. Though I was thinking of job changing the Buccaneer to a Cannon Master, because I do like Cannon Master more. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then I can focus also more on leveling my Ilium, which will give me access to farming mesos and node stones and droplets and stuff like that. So basically, I'm just kind of wasting time not leveling this character to 235. So I figure let's go ahead and just knock this out. It'll probably take I mean, I don't think four totems is going to do it. It's probably going to be six, six totems, maybe seven totems. It shouldn't be too bad, though. So I'm going to go find a place to level up, find a place to grind. I'll probably I'm shooting for 75 billion EXP per hour, more or less, uh, because if I manage to do that, then I should be able to get this in under six totems. So we'll find out. But uh, first of all, I have to find a good place to grind. So let me uh, let me go look for some. Let me go look for a map and then maybe I'll actually be able to uh, to start grinding, make sure I'm on all the right presets and everything. So the first map that really comes to mind is LP1. This map does not have great burning, but it seems like it's right, right on the cusp of being um, a, a farmable map for me. What I'm really missing is the arcane force. If I got to 130, you know, that would probably push me over the edge. 130% damage, that is. But I just, I just don't think I can reasonably do that right now. However, there is also the fact that I could. Well, I already have four points in my arcane force, so never mind. I actually can't. So as much as I would like to grind at this map, it's really not like reasonable. Uh, and these are the lowest level monsters in the cavern, unfortunately. So I need to look towards grinding in the forest and I need to try and find a decent map here. Now there are a couple options that I have. Um, I mean, I've trained at these maps quite a bit. God, so annoying. I've trained at these maps quite a bit on other characters. My Mihail grinded here for a long time and it's nine, it's stage nine burning. So I think I'll try out this map for a little bit. It should be good. I don't know if it's going to be 70 billion experience an hour good, but it might be close. So let's do this. All right, I just reached level 231, so four more to go. But I think what I'm gonna do from here on out is just do one totem a day because two hours of grinding is not so intense. Um, and I, I might have mentioned it before, but I'm not a huge fan of grinding on this character. I find it really difficult to enter that sort of Zen state that you get in when you grind on a class. I feel like there's too much going on. I find myself looking at the bottom right here for my cooldowns way too often. Um, completely changing up my rotation whenever a God of Blades is up. Uh, managing my sword energy. I mean, there's a lot that goes into grinding on a Hayato. And while their grinding is very good, uh, I was getting about 50, 55 billion experience an hour. Um, if I if I was actually trying really hard, I could probably get about 55 billion max right now. And that's not bad, but it's just I think it's just too intensive for me. There's a balance because, um, you know, a lot of classes in this game are wildly different in the way that they grind. Mihail, for example, is really straightforward. I won't go into this too much because it is debatable whether or not 
training with Royal Guard is faster. It depends on a lot of factors, but I personally like to train without Royal Guard. And what that ends up leading to a lot of the times is a very relaxing experience where I'm literally just jumping around, pressing my mobbing skill. This is it. This is this is mobbing on a uh, on a Mihail. This is this is what this is what I got to do. Meanwhile, on my Hayato, I'm you know I'm keeping this skill going. I have to oh summer rain is a uh, is is available. I need to make sure that I cancel that animation. Oh my um my Hitokiri strike is down. I need to go ahead and use that so that I have my crit rate. I'm gonna use this to clear out the mobs and then this is back up again and then I need to make sure I go ahead and throw this out there. Oh, my sword energy is low. I need to use Zonko. Okay, I need to summon God of Blades because that's going to clear the map and that'll be up for 30 seconds and two minutes of downtime. Now I need to just stand over here. Oh, and I got to make sure that I'm using Phantom Blade the whole time that I'm doing all this. It's just a lot. It is a lot to deal with. As if if that explana if that example wasn't enough to kind of convince you like what I'm used to doing versus what I have to do on Hayato. So my review of grinding on a Hayato, and to be completely honest, I'm really happy I'm close to done grinding on this class. It's not my thing. I like bossing on them. I think that's awesome. Bossing on a Mihail is really good. It's really effective. But I don't like grinding on this class very much. It's too much to deal with for me. So... Anyway, I just figured I'd throw that in there because it's something I've been thinking about a lot and I didn't want to have to wait until this character is fully geared or whatever before I talk about it because what is fully geared on this character? And this is something else that I wanted to bring up because right now we're still rocking the Royal Von Leon gear and eventually I'm going to want to get to a point where I have five set Abso. Once I can solo Lotus and Damien, that's not going to be a hard goal to achieve. It's just a matter of time at that point. Um, and it's not like I'm going to stop playing this character entirely once I reach 20k stat. This is a boss mule and will continue to be raised as such moving forward. So it's on cooldown. Wait, how is it on cooldown? I need to wait till there's three seconds left. Um, yeah, th so like, this character is not going to just stop at 20k stat. We're going to be moving forward after that to uh, to make them stronger, solo the bosses quicker, effectively increasing the amount of mesos that I make per hour. Well, the effective mesos per hour, basically, and. Um, I don't know, I, I, I don't really have much else to say. We're going to be doing one totem a day for the next few days. I can get about 60 to 70% EXP per totem. So it'll probably be about a week until I get to 235, which I'm okay with because like I said, with this being as intensive as it is, I really don't want to spend a lot of time in one session grinding the Hayato. It's just too much for me, man. It's too much. All right. I guess I'll see you guys uh, whenever I see you. I'm really not sure what the next clip is going to be here.